This is opera done differently. It is an inside-out performance, or to normally the steps up to Sydney's Opera House have become the stage. The sails of the building are the backdrop, and this is what producers call a silent opera. To avoid complaints from nearby residents about noise, there are no loudspeakers out here. The audience would hear almost nothing without headphones like these. The experience is much more personal for the audience because you've eliminated all extraneous noise. There's not someone coughing their head off uh, all through the performance and there's not someone whispering to their friend next to you. You don't hear any of those things. They may be doing that in this performance, but you don't hear it. It is an elaborate operation. The orchestra is inside the concert hall. Singers outside wear microphones. The music is mixed, then broadcast over an FM radio signal direct to the audience's ears. There have been other so-called silent operas performed elsewhere in the world, but none have ever been on this scale, nor had such a spectacular backdrop. That backdrop inspires the story. The performance is the eighth wonder, the story of the tumultuous history of the design and build of architect Jorn Utzon's dream. This is Sydney Opera House, the opera. What better way to perform an opera at the Opera House, about the Opera House. We need to keep reaching out and um, exploring new ways of presenting opera. An ambition is to reach a new type of audience, one excited by opera delivered in a modern way. It's different, you know, you take off the headset and I don't know, it's, you, you can't hear anything, you put it back on and it's like, wow, it's fascinating. I think it's great. I think um, having the Opera House behind actually gives it a real you know, reality with the story. The show is only on this week, but Opera Australia's plan is that similar innovation will follow. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.